Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3, where Malik Kamuazam Teacup now has a pet cat, to add to the pet dog, and the pet horse, and presumably the pet dream fish he's got for his witchy visions as well. So yes, he's got quite a lot of pets now as Teacup, and who would have thought it? This vengeful man, who cares little for the thoughts of others, loves animals, and has quite a nice collection of pets. I wouldn't have thought that would have been your thing, Teacup, but there we go, everyone's got to have a hobby, and yours is your pets and that's absolutely fine I'm okay with that maybe next up we'll get the royal hamster or something I don't know that'd be quite fun anyway today we're going to begin by moving away from the animals and we're going to start by doing something that I entirely forgot to do last time I mentioned it and I said we were going to do it and then we did not do it at all because it completely slipped my mind I think we begin today by trying to make some other people become witches we're a witch but it's a bit lonely at the moment. As far as we're aware, we are the only witch around. So I think let's try to get somebody else on board. And I think Geek, our player heir, would be a good start. So let's go and find Geek. So hello, Geek. We're going to try to make you become a witch if we can. Now, I'm not quite sure where the option is. Is it in there? No. Is it in there? There it is. Okay, so convert to witchcraft. It's a scheme. So we'll end that scheme. But that's okay. So hang on, we're trying to sway that person. I mean, they're okay with us. They're not you know, a massive fan, shall we say, but they're okay with us. So you know, that's fine. We'll abandon that and we shall try to make Geek a witch. Attempt to convert him a Geek to the ways of Iblis. Okay, so Iblis must be like a witch god or something. But okay, we'll give that a go. There's no agents. We can do this pretty well. We're quite good at convincing people to do stuff. It's only going to take 10 months. That's quite good. And there's a 95% chance of success. That's quite high. I'd be disappointed if that didn't work. But here we go. Right, start that scheme. That's going to be quite fun. That's wonderful. And we do have a big pile of money to spend as well. So let's go and do some more kind of building work around the place. Uh, let's go to the capital first. Right, Delac. What can we do over here now? We've only got a few options left to upgrade Delac. With these four buildings done, that will be it. It will be as effective as it could ever be, which is very good. How about we just go left to right? So here we go. Let's get grain silos. That means we're going to get another 0.3 tax per month. Supply limit goes up. Holding taxes for that county go up a little bit as well. Um, 573 money. It is getting quite expensive, but okay. We do have the... Um, we have got an architect, right? That's still alive. Uh, hang on a minute. Have we got an architect? I'm fairly sure we have. Royal architect. There we go. And they're excellent at their job. Wonderful. Okay, so we'll build that over there. And I think, let's get Gim Hill done as well, shall we? And this will be it. This will be the final upgrade for the little sort of, uh, the, whatever it is, the temple, if you like, of Gim Hill just here. That's it. We can't do any more. That's at maximum level. That's at maximum level. The actual sort of, you know, temple building itself is at maximum level. This is it. Once we've done this, we don't ever have to spend money on Gim Hill again. Okay, yep, absolutely. Let's get ourselves a... Hang on, what is it? What are we upgrading to? Dry Docks. Okay, so that gives us another 0.2 tax. And development growth goes up even more. What is the development around here? I'm not even entirely sure. 34. That seems like quite a lot. 34 out of 100, though, doesn't seem like loads. Okay, never mind. That's fine. Right, so two things underway. Still got a big pile of money left. Let's maybe go, let's go to Mecca, look. Uh, Mecca, we just go for the first one. Get some fancy conscription centres. Yes, please. Temple of Rabbi. Ah, that needs to have the temple upgraded. That's fine. 552 money. Not a problem there. kool you can get your pasture lands upgraded to have corrals. There we go. And Uzfan. The Temple of Uzfan. In fact, are we going to keep the Temple of Uzfan? If it comes to it, would we sacrifice that for a slightly better holding? Which ones are we going to keep? Sanai we might keep, because it's got a Grand Mosque in it. So let's get the Camelry upgraded over there. That's quite good. Um, Medina we'd like to keep, because that's got the Prophetic Mosque in. So let's get the, um, the military camps upgraded to Militia Barracks. We shall have a bit of that. Thank you. Um, and yeah, Jerusalem. We're definitely, definitely going to keep that. Of course we are. Um, and yeah, Camp Smiths. Upgrade that to Mustering Halls. Okay. Still got a bit of money left. Bit of money. I mean, we're holding Gaza for now. Let's just get that slightly better protected. There we go. I think... Oh, the only thing we're not doing is us fan. Um, oh, hang on. No, there. Us fan. Oh, Ah, right, hang on. We're going to spend quite a lot of money on upgrading the temple in Uzfan. 
552 money. Do you know what? We've got the money. That's what we earn it for. Boop. There we go. So I think every single one of our holdings is now being upgraded in some way. Yes. That's wonderful. Look at that. We've still got 629 gold left. That is fantastic. Okay, another thing, actually, while I was thinking about that. Um, okay, the Grand Alamar has finished converting Faith down here. So I think now we can check. Okay, there's a little sort of Coptic outpost right there. But no Adamites. No Adamites. I think we might have possibly rid the world of Adamites there, which is very good. Okay, right. That's very encouraging. Now, a few people did say that we should possibly try to change the faith of Jerusalem over to our faith. And then, when it becomes a Shari, we might be able to then create the Sultanate or whatever it would be of Jerusalem. Because we can't create the Kingdom of Jerusalem. But yeah, a few people did say, change the religion over. So, do you know what? Let's do that, shall we? Let's go over here and try and change the faith of Jerusalem over to our faith. Wonderful. That's going to take three years. So, quite a long time. However, look at that. 11 months time until the culture of Jerusalem changes over to Dalaxi, and that's very exciting. Okay, right, good stuff. Everything is looking good. Let's just get time ticking on a bit, shall we? See what happens. Uh, have we got anything we can do up here? We can create the Duchy of Hormuz, apparently. Oh, we can pick a new perk. That's exciting. Hang on a second, hang on. Malik Amwaz, oh, there's many things. Malik Amwazam teacup. We've had differences in the past, but don't you agree that it's time to let bygones be bygones? My rival Farida gestures from me to whatever is between us. Let's start anew. Okay. Are you one of our rivals? Okay, hang on a minute. Wait there, Duchy of Hormuz or whatever it is. Um, I'm not quite sure who you are. Um, yeah, you are one of our rivals in a very pointy hat. Um, okay. I don't, well, I don't think we would. I don't think we would because we are vengeful. We are slow to forget a slight or someone who does him harm. I think probably we go, no, we can't, we can't forget that. Now, I would go, yeah, absolutely, yeah, it's fine. Let's not be rivals, because that's problematic. But I, Teacup wouldn't. I, I don't think he'd like that. He wouldn't go for that at all. So you're groveling before me. Aller is good. Okay, she's going to hate us a bit, right? There we go. And trimming the dynasty. Abdul Kafur's very existence is an insult in the name of our glorious dynasty. Are you the other rival? Oh, no. Uh, my kinsman is an utter disappointment in everything that he tries to accomplish. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, right. Yes, he is quite terrible. Craven, lazy and zealous. Yeah, you're not a shining beacon of brilliance, are you? Um, okay, perhaps I can make something out of him. So we can do that learning challenge. 97% chance of success. We try to help him become better. Um, but yeah, he might refuse our help. There's a 2% chance that we lose 50 round. We do pick up some stress. Sometimes one must prune the tree. We go to murder him. I don't think we'd murder him. We're not that bothered. He hasn't slighted us. We're a bit annoyed that he's insulting our dynasty, but we probably don't really care. I must cast him out. Okay, we could disinherit him. Um, or we all have our shortcomings. Um, is there just an I don't care option? Because I don't think Teacup would care either way. I don't think he'd be that bothered. I don't think he'd be first. Um, what do we do there? So we disinherit him. Uh, who are... Hang on. Who are you? So you are... You are Chocolate's son. Okay. And Chocolate was... Oh, crikey. Hang on. How far back is this going to go? Chocolate was the son of Emir Abdul Wahab. And they were the son of Chocolate. And they were the son of... Emir Samir Ibn Chocolate. Uh, I don't think we played as you, did we? We didn't play as you. Um, or did we? I can't remember now. We've played as so many people. We've played as all these different characters. No, because we've never played as anybody else who was arbitrary, I don't think. Um, and then you were the son of Chocolate. And you were the son of the... I, it, I don't think we're directly related. I think, you know, through some distant family connections. Um... Do you know what? We'll probably just cast him out. We're going to get annoyed at him and we're just going to chuck him out because he's a bit of a wally. There you go. That's what we're going to do. And we have a new perk. We're going to pick Ducal Conquest. So we get, what's that? Title creation down by 20%. We can also use the Ducal Conquest Casas Belli. It allows a seizure of counties required to create an uncreated title of duchy rank. Ah, okay. So if we have an uncreated title of duchy rank. So if we have a bit of a duchy, 
we can use that particular Casus Belli to go and grab the rest of the duchy. I think that's what that means. Okay, hang on. Title creation cost down is good anyway. That's useful. And then we're only one perk away from getting the really good perk that we want. Um, somebody speaks Arabic. That's a good thing. Well done them. A hook has expired. Not too first at all. Oh yeah, where were we doing? Hormuz. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Hormuz. Um, where is that? Whereabouts is that? Um, it's over there. Oh yeah, because we were able last time to finally get this little bit over here on board. We got, um, yeah, the Sunny Caliphate on board. Finally. It took a long time for them to join us, but they did in the end. But yeah, now we can create, yeah, Hormuz over here. Um, okay. It would make sense to do so. Who runs that bit there? Who's got that? Sheikh Shapur. Okay, Sheikh Shapur. Um, yeah, okay. You're, I mean, you're not brilliant. You know what, actually? Stewardship, you're okay. Everything else, a little bit lacking, but you know, you're not too bad. You're not too bad. But yeah, because, you're, yeah, we're not your rightful liege, we're getting less money from you. So I think, yeah, if we go ahead and create the Emirate of Hormuz, just there. That's good. We own that now, but we don't want that. So the Emirate of Hormuz can go to you because you have the capital of that particular emirate. So grant you the Emirate of Hormuz. There we go. So give you that. Boom. Okay. Still not reporting in quite correctly. Hang on. Oh yeah, because then we need to get a sultan, don't we? Hang on a minute. What's that? That's Persia. Okay. Well, hang on. Who's the sultan of Persia? Should we not be, hang on a minute, should you not be reporting into, should you not report into that person? Grant Vassal. Uh, when your vassal become a vassal of a mere ship, oh, hang on, hang on, it normally up here does that for us. There we go, there we go, this thing here. Grant Vassal, and now he's reporting in correctly. There we go, so we should get a little bit more money from that, I suppose, in the long run. But yeah, he's reporting in via the correct structure, which is good. And Parween, lovely people can marry our granddaughter, through, who is this? Through Princess Helene. Okay. Uh, yeah, you are very good. A genius. You're pretty. You're robust. Uh, you're brave, wrathful, and fickle. Wrathful and fickle is a dangerous combination, I feel. And your stats are pretty good. And you can fight. A prowess of 15 is very good. Okay, let's see if we can find somebody for you to marry. Okay, we've got some good options, but two of them are our grandsons, and we're not going to marry our granddaughter to one of our grandsons, because that way madness lies under the terrible things as well. So we're not going to do that. However, we do have somebody here, Hussein Ibn Lavender, lovely people. Obviously, they're related in some way. Hopefully, it's some sort of distant relation, and that's going to be fine. But yeah, they do have some quite good traits going on. So they've both got genius, that is very good and then he's got beautiful and she's got pretty which I think is a step down but then she's got robust and he's got hail which I think is the step down from robust so all together they have a good pool of traits which might possibly pass down to any kids should they do stalk letter writing however he is only 12 so it's going to be a little bit of a wait for Helene there, but that's fine. And, you know, stats-wise, he's quite good. That's okay. I think we go for that. So let's choose you. It's going to say they're related. I'm sure it's a distant relation. It's going to be fine. Let's make it matrilineal. It doesn't really make any difference, does it, to be honest? It doesn't make any difference at all. It changes the colour of that thing there, but that's absolutely fine. Chance of children, high. And, yeah, they, the kids are definitely going to get genius, and they might possibly get these other ones. That's a good range of things to choose from, isn't it? So, um, yeah, there we go. Send that proposal, please. Let's get that done. Get that sorted. I did consider maybe marrying her for an alliance, but her sort of her traits here were way too good. So I think if we get somebody else come along who possibly doesn't have quite as either many traits or you know as good traits as these, I think maybe we could go and marry for an alliance just in case Pope Squad come back in anger and try and attack us again. We might need to call upon some friends. So that'd be quite good. Oh, here we go. Picnic. Uh, I don't know. Picnic's our grandson. Again, good traits. Good traits going on. Okay, hang on a second. Let's go and figure out a spouse for Picnic. Okay, so again, there might be a little bit of a wait. It's going to be a betrothal, but I think this person here is quite good. Suzanne Bint Shola Partied. So she is pretty, and he's got the handsome male equivalent. And then she's a genius, and he's a genius. And he also does have hail, and he's got fecund as well. So there is a chance 
that the kids are going to pick up quite a lot of traits as well. And they're definitely going to get genius. They're definitely going to get that physical trait there, so the pretty or handsome equivalent. And then it might also, because they've both got it, elevate up to the next form as well, which is quite good. I think let's go for that. Again, it's going to say, oh, they're related, but we don't care. I also notice that Picnic, you're one of our knights. I think that is a poor choice of career for you. You've only got a prowess of 11, which means you are likely to get horribly murdered. Picnic, we're going to forbid you from doing that. Take off your nightly stuff. Sorry, you're not in nightclub anymore. And um, yeah, there we go. We'll just sort of stop you from being killed. Oh no, what's Mittens doing? As Mittens approaches me with yet another dead rat, I can do nothing but praise her. The castle has never been this free of rodents before. Keep up the good work. We gain rat free for five years. What does that do? A huge boost to our health. This is amazing. We've got so many health boosting things. Okay, that good. That thing's been arranged. That's wonderful. Look at this. Our health, we are 72 and our health is fine. We're not even feeling a little bit grumpy, a little bit tired, a little bit worn out, anything. We're just feeling completely fine. That is really good. Look at that, so many positives. The only bad thing is that bad omen. Now, somebody did say in the comments that the bad omen could possibly be linked to an attempt on our life. I'm not entirely sure how that would play out, but possibly, yeah, that might be... That might be something that we either have to look out for, or maybe the time has passed for that now. I don't know, but whatever the case, there we go. Right, let's get time ticking on, shall we? At some point, oh, hang on, yeah, you've arrived in Delac Kavir, that's wonderful. Um, yep, yeah, it all works well. We get money and various other bits and bobs. Thank you so much. And yeah, how near are we to getting forced vassalage? Because it would be good if we could start taking some land down here. Just, you know, work our way through some African lands. Ah, somebody did point this out. Oh, <laughs> I was just thinking we haven't had to name many children. Okay, Sandwich has given birth to a son. It's Sandwich's first child. Um, intelligent and handsome, that is very good. Okay, uh, what should we call this child here? Again, I think we should kind of theme them a bit. I mean, she's called Sandwich. Maybe we should go down a kind of a, a, a food route, possibly? I don't know. Uh, okay, what we're going to call this child? Let's call them Bagel. Let's go for a range of bready products. That could be quite fun. There we go. May you grow to be strong and wise. Now, yes, yeah, somebody did point this out. Oh, crikey, hang on a minute. Somebody did point this out in the comments on the previous video that, um, yeah, over here has changed hands. So that was, I can't remember what it was before. There was something else over here before. So this wasn't ruled by Francia or Frankia over here. But now look, France, I'm going to say, I'm going to say France to make life easy. France is now quite big. Big chunk of land over there. Big bit of land down here in what's, you know, modern day Spain and a bit of Portugal. And then over here as well, across the sea in Northern Africa. So if we do want to get our hands on Africa, now we've got to potentially, if we get over here and they're still in charge, maybe go to war with the Empire of France. However, the Empire of France, why? <laughs> you're the Empress. Get a better hat. Um, you've not got that much in the way of military strength. That's terrible. For an empire, 7,000. Not even, even if it was topped up. Not even 10,000. That's awful. Holy Roman Empire, they've at least got 35,000. And is that, oh yeah, so not an empire over there quite yet. But England, 35,000. Okay, right. But there we go. I mean, that might be a way off. That might be the last bit we come to, possibly. Right, the gift of generosity. Hello, Sparde. My son Sparde has been impressed with one of the household pharaohs for a long time. After finally meeting in person, he has been repeating the warrior's words to himself. Give others their due, and you will receive your own in turn. Okay, so ambitious. We made you arrogant last time, didn't we? And then generous. You are going down a diplomacy route. And that would help you. As, uh, as others grow around him, so will he. Okay. He must be told the hard work always produces results. All things must be given time. Dear Spa Day. Um, I, I, I think we probably just go, yeah, uh, whatever. Okay. Yeah. Keep that. Keep generous. I'm not that bothered. Okay. Great. Good job. Because we're not that fussed about such things, I kind of feel. But there we go. Right. We're working our way through some of the things. Oh, hang on a minute. We have a court event. Prandial Excess. Okay, what's that about? Each day it seems my court is abuzz with talk of the next banquet, and many have grown rather more portly as of late. <laughs> oh no, I can sympathise. Cupboard, my food taster, seems more lethargic with each session, sweating more profusely as each foreign fancy is lifted to her mouth. 
the culinary activities fueled by Malika Almawazama cuddles, Sirin, and Picnic's constant vying to demand the most memorable meal from my overworked cooks. Today it is my friend Sirin who draws my liege tonight. I am having the kitchens prepare the richest sauce known to man, served with a ten bird roast, licking her lips hungrily. Mahay Almana, Shabano, and Grand Alama Sunbeam Tut shaking their heads with unconcealed disdain. Oh dear. So I can't wait. So we want to go, yay, we like that. Now we are an eager reveller. So if we do that, we lose some stress and we do like a party. That's one of our traits now. We're an eager reveller. And you know, okay, yeah, we've got some things about ourselves, but we like a party. That's fine. We might not care what other people think, but we do like a party. Only the best for my court. This extravagance has gone too far. Will you never be satisfied? No, I can't wait. We're an eager reveller. We love that. Absolutely. We like a nice party and we've become obese. Oh dear. <laughs> Right. Okay. So we've put on a little bit of little bit of timber. So uh, yeah, hang on. Obese is uh, probably going to be a bad thing, I imagine. But I think, hang on. If we're going to, can't we uh, work off? Uh, lose weight. Yeah. There we go. You would dedicate yourself to losing weight. So if we do that, we're gonna try and sort this out. So stress gain up by twenty five percent. Our stress. Sort of, we don't gain much stress. We're quite chilled out. We're quite resilient to picking up stress now. So, um, yeah, do, hang on, notify me when that's available. Do that, please. So let's get that done. That's quite good. Um, and then hopefully we can get that sorted. And I think if we do go on a hunt, that also does bring our weight down a bit. Because you're out there, you're exercising, you're on a horse, and you're running around in the countryside and whatever. So let's go on a hunt as well. And that might help. And yeah, we're athletic, look. So that might be quite good. Um, yeah, we'll go and do this now. We'll go and do this now because I don't think we want to be, we don't want to be obese, thank you. So um, yeah, okay, sound the horn. Let's go on a bit of a hunt. We haven't done that in a long while. Some hooks are expiring, loads of hooks expiring. I must have scabbed the dry lands twice by now and still no sign of game. Everyone expects me to return triumphant with a trophy, but as things are looking, I will only return with shame. Okay, however, we can go to the nearest market and buy ourselves a wolf. And we can do that because our intrigue skill is quite high. Um, I think we would do that. We, we don't really care what people think, really. But, but then, yeah, I'll not sink so low. I'd rather return empty-handed, humble honesty, or we get hunting trophy. I, I think we do that. I think, although we're not bothered, we do our own thing and have little regard for others. But we're going to have little regard for others' opinion if we get found out. I don't want to, yeah, don't, humble honesty doesn't seem like the thing that Teacup would do. He's vengeful and arbitrary. He's not humble, I would say. Um, also, he's fickle, so we kind of just flick between things. We're going to go and um, we're going to go and buy a wolf pelt. There we go. We did that. And hopefully that's going to help with our weight issue. Um, oh, OK, hang on. Sheikh Shuja is plotting against my son Peaceful. OK, so can we can we do anything with you? Are we allowed to chuck you in a prison now? Because potentially you're a... Oh, no, you're an act, that's an act of tyranny. I thought, man, it's not tried to do any murder, though, has he? So, um, OK, the hunt is drawing to an end. We mount our horses to leave the dry lands behind as the servants prepare the wolf and other game for the journey back. In spite of our difficulties along the way, the hunt went very well. OK, not overly exciting, though. But there we go. Did that help with the whole sort of weight thing? I'm not entirely convinced, but okay, there we go. We're trying to lose some weight and we went on a hunt as well. Wonderful stuff. I mean, yeah, the money is pouring in. It's all looking wonderful. Um, oh, Corson is plotting to kill me. Right, well, two can play at that game, Corson. Hello, how are you? The murder on us has been abandoned. <gasps> he was trying to murder us. Somebody was trying to kill us. Oh, oh, Corson. Oh dear, I suspect maybe by doing that you have signed your own death warrant because we are very angry, we're vengeful, and we're absolutely livid that you tried to kill us. So um, yeah, we're going to try and kill you, Corson. I think we're going to be okay. 74% chance of success, 89% chance of secrecy. It's going to take 12 months. Um, Can we get that up? We can't get any more people on board. However, however, could we potentially. Yeah, what if we do that? Support our schemes. So if we change it to support our schemes, try to murder 92%, and then possibly what if for now we get our wife involved in court intrigue? Doesn't matter about the holdings, that's okay. Now we try and murder you, 95% chance of success and 95% chance 
of secrecy. Perfect. Right, we're going to murder you. So yeah, you're one of our rivals then because you were trying to murder us and we are vengeful and we're not going to forget that. We're very, very angry about that. And how is the witchy thing going? It's getting there. Um, okay, yep, you're looking at a horse. Nope, no one rides the horse but me. Get out of here. We're no longer a beast, hooray. Right, we're going to keep the um exercise thing on anyway because I feel like you know, we're going to, you know, we take that off and we're going to put the weight back on. We're going to go, ooh, cake or something, like I would. So that we're just going to keep that on and try and lose some more weight. Okay, Berber Secrets. As part of my ongoing plan to murder Corson, some of my minions regularly intercept his letters. Due to my expert comprehension of Berber, ah, we've learned that language. I could personally read them rather than relying on second-hand translations, which is sure to take time away from some of my studies. Perhaps I would glean valuable insights this way. I'll translate it myself. Scheme success chance up by 10%. I think we probably would do that. I think Teacup would do that. He went to the trouble of learning the language. Let's go and do that. We pick up a tiny bit of stress and the success chance is as high as it can be anyway. It doesn't matter. But yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Convert to witchcraft. The time has come. I cannot force Geek to see the truth, but I have done all I can to open his mind to it. I pray to Iblis that Geek has connected to something in our innocent conversations and the sacred texts I left in his chambers. Now I must go to him and extend the invitation to his communion or give up this endeavour. Okay, he deserves to make up his own mind. We try and convert him or we just give up. No, we've not come this far to just give up now. Okay, is it going to work? Convert to witchcraft. A new novice. I watch the sleeping shape of Geek while I send a quick prayer to Iblis. As soon as the last whispered words pass my lips, he stirs as if his subconscious mind has waited for this moment. When I step out of the shadows and offer Geek his blessing, there is no fear or hesitation in his eyes. No, his acceptance is wholehearted and hungry. Welcome to our communion, brother. Okay, so Geek is now a witch. Okay, this is very exciting. Ah, bother. Geek and I talk about Iblis and his will for many hours. When the sky subtly shifts to blue at the horizon, we make our farewells. As I open the chamber door, I hear rapid footsteps disappearing down the corridor. Was someone listening? Oh, oh I don't know. Someone knows our secret. Oh, I mean, we don't really care. We're not that bothered. Who else can we turn into a witch? Who else would like to be a witch? What about one of our children? Um, Chuckle. And you're praying on, yeah, you are... What are, what's your primary... Th Emera, Emera, Emera. Can we... Hang on. It's one of our kids. That's an Emera title. Sultan. There we go. Hang on. What about our brother? Hang on. Our brother. Lovely. You. Because that's quite good. Because you're a Sultan. So you might pass it down to other people. Hello. Would you like to become a witch? 95% chance of success. Let's spread this out. Oh, look. He's made his wife the jester as well. She's got the jester hat on. Okay, that's good. Unless she was our jester and they left... I, d I don't know, but whatever the case, his wife, his primary spouse, has the jester hat on. His other, one of his other wives has got an amazing crown. Look at that. Again, the mark of a good crown. It looks good on your head and you can take it off and use it as a weapon. And that's got many jabby bits on it. Look at that. That's wonderful. Okay, right. Splendid stuff. Uh, right, so how long till we do a murder? About nine months. And converting that is about ten months. Okay, that's fine. I want to pick up that new trait however however let's say we want to go over i don't know it said uncompleted uh duchy titles so hang on so yeah we've got that new casus belli thing didn't we we got the new casus belli so duchy titles so for example over here look so sirta we own most of that but no but it's incomplete isn't it the one we got hang on what was it remind me that there ducal conquest so the seizure of counties required to create an un uncreated title of duchy rank. Okay, so like that there, look. So heir, we've not created the title of that yet. So if we went to whoever owns that right now and said, hello, I'd like to go to war with you, we can then, um, oh, we can do it de jure. Uh, is that what that means now? We can grab that because we feel like that should be hours oh hang on or is that part of sahara and oh, no, that's part of sahara i don't fully understand that other casas belli thing um but let's i was gonna say let's go and have a fight but there's little places down here look 
we can grab them anyway. So let's maybe, unless you want to join us, um, no, we're not his rightful liege, which is a bit unfortunate, isn't it? Hang on. So what would make you, what would make you join us? So this here, so if we had that, so I've only got one county in there. So I think, yeah, if we have a fight with this chap over here, then I think at that point we could then vassalize them over rather than having to go and fight them. And that might save a bit of bloodshed and such like. Um, oh, promote culture task in Jerusalem is complete. Oh, that's good. So Jerusalem is now Dalaxian. That is excellent news. Okay, right, that's good. Yay for that. That's a splendid thing. And our son has learned a new language. Well done, son of ours. Wolfels McBarkington V, the council meeting. As me and my councillors are preparing for a meeting, my dog Wuffles McBarkington V approaches me with begging eyes and a drooping tail. Aww. He does not like to be left alone, but this is an important meeting. He will join me. He's going to join us. That's what happens. It's an important meeting, but it's Wuffles McBarkington V. I am sorry, Melikam Wazam Teacup. This is my Grand Alama, Grand Alama Sunbeam. I have to disagree with well, just... Wolfram McBarkington V gives a guttural growl and Grand Alama Sunbeam jerks back, looking from a dog to me and back. On second thought, I think it's a great idea. Such a good boy, Wolfram McBarkington V. Okay. <laughs> so we're using our dog to threaten our council. Marvellous stuff. All these things are being built. This is excellent stuff. Money is pouring. 187 now. I think our... um. Our steward is back gathering taxes again. So that's pushed that up a bit, but that's good. Striving amidst strife. The latest work of my acquaintance, Amir Arzal, has become all the rage at court of late. The piece deals with success and growing greatness, and Arzal has publicly dedicated it to me. Okay, so here we go. Let's listen to some lovely poetry. Conflict and bloodlust. When red-plumed war comes to his lands, it'll ne'er find a keener set of hands. His subjects prove grateful, for if they are not, then next their door is his sword bought. <laughs> okay, so far I've kept my thoughts to myself, but the buzz has grown too dramatic to ignore for much longer. Um, I don't know how I feel about this. I'll just say that. Uh, and the poem is lauded, but we can stay completely independent of that. We were not bothered at all. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Do we go to war with anybody else whilst we wait for that new thing to arrive? Or do we just do we just let that sort of appear? Our new um this thing over here, the forced vassalization thing. I think we just wait for that. Let's tick time on until we get that perk. Okay, so Caliph Zahir, so the current Caliph of our faith, who's only 13 years old, has said that Spa Day should pop over and see him. Do you know what? Yeah, of course he'll be there. That's fine. We're gonna go and tell him to have a nice time and have a lovely party and such. Now, a few people in the comments did say, Can you become the Caliph? I don't know how. I don't know how. There is the Sunni Caliphate, but I don't know how we become the Caliph of our religion. I don't know how that happens. So if we look down here, look, there is the current head of our faith. But how we become that, I'm not entirely sure. I don't know if we have to. I mean, do we depose this person or something? I don't know. I really don't know how it works. I don't know if we can. I'm not entirely convinced. Of course, if we made our own faith, then yes, we would be our own Caliph of our new faith. But then, yeah, if we did create our own faith, we would sort of be quite on our own because most of this bit of the world is a Shari. So we'd have a hard time convincing everybody to go over to our ways. I'm not quite sure how it'd work with the current holy sites and all that kind of stuff as well. It might make things a little bit more complicated than it's worth. I'm not entirely sure. So, um, yeah, at the moment it's sort of okay. We do need to get rid of all the Coptics in the middle here, though. We do need to get rid of those. So hang on. Where are you? Oh, you're still, oh, you're still working on converting Jerusalem over. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. That's not too much of a bother. But uh, yeah, I don't know how we become the Caliph, even if it's possible. I'm not entirely sure. So um, yeah, it's okay. At least we have them under our control. At least they're part of our lands. That's quite good. And Spardes come back. And Satara has given birth to a son. Okay, so we've got Soft. We've got Silky. Um... Okay, <laughs> we're going to do this one just live. I normally pause it to the names, but soft, silky, and let's have smooth. Let's have soft, silky, and smooth. Um, okay, genius and beautiful, but also spindly. Your limbs are long and knobby. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. May you grow to be strong and wise and you know, still remain your knobbiness. Uninvited. One of my agents has acquired a deadly spider and arranged for a servant to hide it in Corson's bed before dark. 
All they need is my go-ahead, and he'll be as good as dead the moment the spider strikes. I hope you're not afraid of spiders, Corson. 95% chance that he dies, 5% chance of the scheme being discovered. Here we go. How did it do? Corson is dead by the lethal bite of a deadly spider. The spider struck not long after he retired to his chambers, and although the guards were called, no one could do a thing to save him. Unfortunately, he died cursing my name, and rumours of my involvement have already spread far and wide. Oh no! Did it get revealed? Um, hang on a minute. We gain the 5% chance of that happening. We gain the trait murderer. I mean, it, it's true. We, we've done it multiple times. Um, okay, right. So we're now a murderer and we're acknowledged as a murderer. Um, general opinion down by 15. That's not brilliant, let's be honest. Particular clan government, because opinion of everybody does sort of, uh, does mean how much money they send you and how many levies and such like. Um, okay, we need to get an antiquarian, because the antiquarian has died, unfortunately. Um, right, okay, here we go, right, lovely. So lovely, you need to make up your own mind. Are you going to join us? And yes, indeed. Okay, lovely is now a witch. Acceptance is wholehearted and hungry. And there you go. Right, so we're all witches together. This is wonderful. Um, okay, first job first. Uh, go to courtiers, get rid of that. Right, antiquarian. Who's good at that? That person there, Sat uh, Satara Bint Shuja. You can come in and do some antiquarianing. Thank you very much. Um, and is there a thing where we can, yeah, found a witch coven. Okay, what do we need with this? 60% of adult members of our house are witches. Currently 2.5%. Okay, right. Not quite, not quite there yet. What happens with a witch coven though? Fertility up 10%. Uh, disease resistance up with a small boost. Hostile schemes and hostile scheme resistance also goes up. That's good. That's very good. Are we near to doing Dynasty of Many Crowns? Um, no. One. One person fulfills that requirement. Where's that gay Stewardship goes up, prestige, vassal opinion, levy. Levy size up 10%. But um, yeah, we're nowhere near getting that either. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Um, right. Okay, that's uh, that's all fine. Now we need another witch. Just just keep making people become witches. Chuckle. Would you like to become a witch? Convert you to witchcraft. We're quite good at this. We're quite good at telling people to become witches. We don't want an artifact. We don't want to do a feast. Do we hold court? Uh, do you know what? Let's hold court. And then by the time that's done, we'll tick, you know, tick the clock forward a bit, get that new perk, and then we'll go and do some fighting. So, okay, hold court. Yeah, we can do that. Three people like normal. An unusual case has reached my court. Two women claim that a baby boy is theirs. None of the villagers can stand as witnesses, saying that it's as if the child appeared out of thin air. No one knew that the women were expecting or adopting nothing. The mystery has captivated the people, and while we may never know how this all happened, I must resolve this conundrum. What decision should I make for the future of the child? Test the mothers to see who cares about the child's welfare. The youngest woman, as she's got more of her life... Uh, with age comes experience. The eldest woman will raise the child. I'll raise the boy as my own. Oh no, we don't want to do that. So Jabir. Jabir is Herculean. Okay. Jabir might possibly be quite good at doing the fighting. Um, okay. Tempted to do that. I'm very tempted. Very tempted. We'll become the father. Um, okay, but... I think, I mean, do we just do that? We're getting caught grandeur if we test the mothers to see who cares about the child's welfare. You remember an incredibly similar event in a book where the true mother was discovered when suggesting to split the baby in two. Uh, I mean, do you know what? I'm tempted. He's Herculean. He'll be quite a good knight in the future, but we're not going to be around for that much longer. So I think let's test the mothers to see who cares about the child's welfare and the real mother can then can then look after them. I am faced with... Hang on. Is that our own thing? What happened with that then? Oh, okay. We don't find out what happened. Um, right. I thought I thought we were supposed to see the resolution of that. Oh, okay. We don't know what happened with that then. I am faced with some man-bint rainbow lovely people's sad eyes, which grow larger and more pitiful as her kinswoman saucer gently ushers her toward my throne. Okay, hang on. So Rainbow is our granddaughter and she's 10 years old. Malik al Muazam, she laments, the girl has been at Rainbow's court with no one to watch over her since the disappearance of her dear papa. 
please look to her future. She is her, my own blood, after all. Hang on, what? Um, oh. Oh, hang on. Hang on. So, he's vanished. Uh, she's my own blood, after all. Uh, no fear, I shall raise the girl myself. My hands are full, but I will find her a home. She becomes for me a chocolate's ward. Raising a child is not cheap. Unfortunate, but not the crown's problem. I mean, we're not a monster. We don't, yeah, we're not overly bothered. We're not going to take care of her ourselves, but we are going to find her a home. So go and become Samir Chocolate's ward. There you go. That's that sorted out. My vassal, Amir Jabril, can barely contain his rage. You're upting, something must be done about that Bedouin outsider. He just uh, gesticulate, uh, gesticulates, sorry, wildly. I have had quite enough of Amir Muzaffarin and his ridiculous customs, nobly taking everything on the chin. Oh, please. It is time for your foreign subjects to adopt the moors of their betters. Okay, our nobility must be Dalaxian. So, crikey, there's many things we gain five. Dread, cultural acceptance between them decreases. He likes us a bit. Um, there's much you could learn from other traditions. Only a 40% chance of succeeding in that particular thing. That's not great. Um, Dalaxian, no. Mazafredin is a loyal vassal. Or lovely people is a land of... Lovely peoples, yeah, land of many peoples. There's many people in the lovely people land. I think we just go for that. And make him go away. Because we're not bothered. We just go, yeah, it's a land of many peoples. Clear off for you. So we gain some grandeur. Okay, there we go. That was nice and straightforward. I don't know what happened with the with the child. With the disputed mothers. Did I miss something with that? Was I supposed to go and come back to that? I don't know. Maybe something else will pop up now. I'm not entirely sure. One thing we do need to do, however. Put our wife back on assist ruler. Put you back on disrupt schemes. We have nobody that we need to go and brutally murder right now. So there we go. Just go back to keeping us alive. Thank you. And actually, Cold Drink can get married. And I think we marry Cold Drink to Mariam Sobeid here. She seems quite good. 18 years old. Here's 16. They've got Genius together and they've got Comely together. So any kids that do arise as of a result of stalk letter writing will get the Genius trait. They will get Comely and that might also elevate up to the next level of that as well, which is good. And then he's got Fecund and he's got Hale. So the kids might potentially get all of those. That would be wonderful. So do you know what? We'll do that. And she's very good. She's very, very good. Okay, so get that sorted. There we go. Send that proposal. And that will happen. You know, that'll be a marriage, not a betrothal or whatever. Oh, okay, hang on here. Mittens the troublemaker. My vassal Amir Idris approaches me, rage in his eyes and cat in his hand held with a scruff of its neck. Get off of my cat. As he thrusts the cat in my face, I see that it's my dear Mittens. I found this little monster among my things. Wasn't scratched to bits. Was covered in cat whittle. I think he's saying there. Cat wee wee but a different word for that. I'll compensate you. She's just a cat. You know, get over it. She's a cat. She's our cat and we like her. And there we go. Marriage sorted out. Wonderful stuff. My son Sparday hovers in the limbo between childhood and adulthood. I have taught him enough to understand the truth and he is still young enough to have an open mind. If I want to induct him to the service of Iblis, it is now or never. He deserves to know his power. 100% chance that that's going to work. Yes, okay. Right. We have another witch. This is good. Uh, we are getting quite witchy. This is wonderful. Um, oh, crikey. The Dalaxian and the Zagawa peoples have kind of merged in culture. And they've become Tripolitanian. Okay, that's exciting. That Sultan, that's our son. So our son has kind of branched out from being Dalaxian. Has gone into Tripolitanian. Okay, we'll see how it develops. That's okay, I think. And we can get our new perk. Okay, this is very exciting. So, we pick up forced vassalage. Yes, please, we shall have that. Uh, we might as well go down the rest of these, I suppose. Um, although, yeah, I bet we can't change anyway. I bet we can't swap things around right now. Um, can we change? I know we might be able to change. We might be able to change. Because we don't really need diplomat. We don't need that. Not so fussed about that. We're okay at diplomacy as it is. We've got 46. We don't really need that much more. Um... Accomplished Forger, not so bothered. Flexible Truces, not so bothered. Uh, we can learn more languages. We can learn loads anyway. That's not overly exciting. Embassy is not exciting. Really, we wanted to get that thing. So we can go do some fighting. I think maybe, maybe we focus on wealth now. So flick over to wealth focus, get some more money, do some more upgrades, make the realm better, get some men at arms and just do that kind of stuff. I think that's what we do. Let's go to wealth focus. So we're going to take a while to pick this up because we're not that good at doing stewardship stuff but select that right hang on a second hang on open inventory 
take out that trinket and put the lucky Bedouin coin in. So 5% more stewardship lifestyle experience. And do we have anything else that helps us out with that? I'm not entirely sure we have a stewardship book. Let me go and have a quick look. Okay, maybe not a book, but a ring. That's another 5%. So get rid of... Get rid of that learning thing and we'll have the old signet ring. And then, yeah, the rest of the books... Oh, that's stewardship as well. That's another 5% stewardship. But I don't want to get rid of that. The Love of People Romance is good. Vassal Opinion up by eight. That keeps them in line. Um, but then that gives us a small health boost. Okay. Do we need a small health boost, given all those other health boosts? I think maybe a small one might not be overly useful. So, do you know what? Let's go back into there. We'll put down the On Medical Material book for now. So, unequip that. And, um, yes, we shall get in... Dalaxian Law and Ordinance. So that is over there plus 15% to our stewardship learning, which is good because that's what we want to do. So stewardship, stewardship, stewardship. And then wasn't there an artifact in here somewhere? Was there an artifact in court that gave us stewardship? Yeah, look, there's a book there. That's learning lifestyle. Have we got a book that helps us with stewardship lifestyle experience points. Oh, we absolutely do. Look at that, plus 20% stewardship lifestyle experience. That is very good. Also down here, we've got a book that gives us plus 20% diplomacy lifestyle. We possibly should have deployed that book while we were trying to pick up that new perk, but never mind, Joe, you live and learn. Let's get fine veins of trade, thank you. So now, if we go and look at that, pop into here, what are we getting now? So, yeah, time to next perk, 22 months. So we're getting an extra, what, 15% from all of our sort of various trinkets that we're holding and another 20% from the book that's in court. So an extra, what's that? 35% just from stuff that we have around the place. That's going to be quite good. So 22 months, however, until the next perk. But that's okay. We've got none of these. So I'm not quite sure where we go, but yeah, it's okay. We've got so yeah, an open house on those. That's quite good. Um, okay, shall we go and have a fight? I think we can get one dollar down here to join us. I think we can declare there's a truce. Okay, when does the truce go away? <laughs> when does the truce with this place go away? Because that's just irritating. Hang on a minute. Um, 1360. Oh, it's ages away. Okay, maybe not there then, botherations. They're a bit too big. We can't do much with them. We've got a truce with them as well. Um, okay, this isn't working entirely as I'd planned. I was kind of hoping, hang on, hang on. What about going down here? Because we've got a little bit of an outpost down here. We can get people over. What about Borgu? Can we, hang on, how big is Borgu? Borgu looks quite big. I think it's 11, 11 counties that we can do the forced vassalization thing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, botherations. What about, what about there? That might work. Okay, Emirate of Igboland. That sounds amazing. Hello, Igboland. Declare war on you. Uh, okay. Is it because we're not next to you? Maybe it's because we're not adjacent to you that we can't do that. Oh, I was kind of hoping we'd just sort of sweep through and do so. Okay, how about over here, look? There's a definite fight going on here. So we could have a fight with you. Can't offer you vassalage because you are fighting, but we could declare war on you. Grab. Oh, yeah, force vassalization. So there we go. We'll do that. You can join us, please. That'll be wonderful. So you join us, and then we'll be neighboring that place. And I imagine then we'll be able to get the force vassalization thing on that just there. Let's see if we can get a little bit more land down here then, whilst we wait for those truces to kind of uh, work their way out. So, okay, right, declare war down here. Hello. Uh, right, hang on, let's get to raising flag thingamajig. Put it over here. Not really looked down here before. What's it like down here? So, it looks all right. Looks okay. Looks sort of not very well developed, but there's some good buildings. A little town there, some castles. Um, a load of nothingness down here, look. Nothing going on down there very much, but okay. Right, so let's raise all our men-at-arms, because I think our men-at-arms should be able to do the job. I think they'll be okay. We also might possibly look at changing the um, the commander. We'll see if anyone's good. Um, somebody climbing up to Shibano's window. Okay, not bothered. Don't really care. Okay. Right, various people are joining this fight. Um, oh, hang on. That alliance has expired. Okay, that's fine. Not so fussed about that. Okie doke. 
Uh, helpful warning. Okay, I received a missive from the Sultan Emir of Zirid. It claims that Grand Alamar Sunbeam, my nephew, has requested support in a plot against me. There is nothing I value more than loyalty, Amura's letter reads, hence why I share this with you. Okay, so you've got plus 82. Grand Alamar Sunbeam, plus 100. I, th I believe Sunbeam. Uh, he's guilty and I will publicly accuse him. The Sultan can't be trusted. My vassals have my support. Yeah, okay, that's fine. But, Grand Alamus Sunbeam... Oh yeah, if Sunbeam is loyal, nothing happens. If Sunbeam is disloyal, then, yeah, it becomes a little bit easier for him to enact his schemes on me. I'm not quite sure what he's doing with his hands. <laughs> it's like he's supposed to be holding something, like a teapot, and he's forgotten. Um, yeah, I don't trust the Sultan, because he is our nephew. We've given him a position of power. He really likes us. Um, yeah, don't trust that person there. Away with them. Right. Have we got a better commander? That's not the button I wanted to press. Um, yeah, can we get anyone better? Oh, yeah, you look. 31. That's fine. Get you on board. And I think we just go straight in. Just go straight in over here. What's that there? There's like, I can't see what that is. Is that like just a, a load of trees? I think the trees are all sort of... Yeah, we don't see that, that many trees recently. We haven't got many trees around our place. But look. Oh, hang on. What? That siege is done. <laughs> That took about five seconds. Okay, let's go over to there then. And that'll sort this all out. Um, yeah, the trees are all sort of you know, 3D-ish looking. That's quite nice. Don't we see too many trees all sandy round us? Um, do, you do not. You do not run away, Wuffles McBarkington V. My dogs keep breaking my heart. Um, okay, we try to catch Wuffles McBarkington. We're going to run after Wuffles McBarkington. Please come back, Wuffles McBarkington. Don't break our heart. I searched for a long time. <gasps> Okay, this is good. I searched for a long time, but not a sign of Wuffles McBarkington the fifth can be found. Just I'm about to leave. My friend Sirin appears out of nowhere. Wuffles McBarkington the fifth in tow. My friend, I do believe you lost someone. I like the way we're in the middle of nowhere and she appears out of nowhere. Was she hiding behind a blade of grass or something? Um, such luck. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. That's very exciting. Right, fight happening here. Boop, sorted. Two months, and I think that'll be it. We're on 91% as it is. And they can join. You can keep all your lands. You can keep ruling all your stuff. I just want you to report up to us, please. That would be perfect. If you could do that, I'd be very happy. Right, so there we go. Three, two, one, nothing. Wonderful. Okay, so no war score from prisoners. Do we have any prisoners? Only two. So let's let you out for some money. Let you out for some money. Okay, sort that out first. And then we'll go and resolve the thing. Um... Somebody's had an affair, but we take lovers all the time, so we don't really care. And can we make Chuckle convert to witchcraft? Are oh, you going to go for it? Yes. Welcome to our communion, brother. Okay, this is good. This is good. Uh, somebody else has overheard this. Cry, kids. We need to be more careful when we're talking about the witchcrafty stuff. Um, Who else? Uh, okay, I mean, we've done... Hang on, hang on. Children, we did geek. Why don't we do cupboard? Why don't we get cupboard to join? Because, hang on, that counts toward the thing. Hang on a minute. Does it count toward the coven? Um, adult member. Yeah, okay, let's do that. You, hello. Would you like to join us and be a witch? That'd be exciting. You could do some exciting witchy things, cauldrons of tea and such like. Uh, right, ransom's accepted. Finish that. You become our vassal. I mean, you could have said, I'd like to join you. And we could have avoided all that fighting. But there we go. Right, so a little bit more land down there. Now we're next to them. Can we do the whole... No, why don't we get the thing to fight them? Conquer duchy. We can just do that anyway. Or conquer a county. Well, why don't we just go and conquer the duchy? That's quite a chunk of land down there. Igbo land is quite big. Um, do you know what? Let's have a fight with Igbo land. And go and grab their territory. You don't want to join us, do you? Um, no. Realm is distant. It isn't distant. Stop being a wally. It's really, really not. It's, there's a tiny river in the way. Need to move time on it so slightly. There we go. Um, are you going to join us now? Are you at war? Minus 10. Okay, what would we need to get down here? So rightful liege kingdom titles. Um, okay, so we need five counties. So we'd need to get up there somehow. Right, that's going to get very complicated. Um, maybe we can't do that. We can't get you to join. Do you know what? It's fine. What we're going to do is we're just going to have a fight with you. Um, oh, now we can force vassalize you. Oh, okay. There we go. Maybe we had not moved time on. So I think you have to be adjacent to them. 
That's fine. So forced vassalize you. You can keep your land. Just, just keep it. We just want you to be part of the lovely people empire. We're all lovely. It's very nice. Um, yeah, okay. So I have another fight. Uh, we'll get the troops raised. Is that a bit too close to their capital? Put it there, just in case they get the jump on us. We've had that happen before. Various hooks are expiring from loads of people we let out of the prison. A dangerous faction. Oh, hang on a minute. Do we need to worry? Ah, peasanty peasants. Okay, peasants from the Sheikdom of Sinai. I think we can cope with a lot of peasants from one county. It's going to be okay. Right, look, they're coming in here. Um, Sultan Lovely, in you come. Um... Oh no. So Shazada, our granddaughter, is swooning over him. We don't care. Not bothered. Okay, we get the stuff. Six days, five days. Mariam has given birth to a son. Okay. Oh, and it's it's anything. We can call you anything we like. Okay, so you're currently called Najib. Hey, wow, that's that's fabulous as well. Okay, Najib, you're going to be very good in the future. Look at this set of skills here. Um, okay, right, what do we call you? We're going to call them Warm Bed. That was a name suggested in the comments on one of the previous videos, and I thought that was quite nice. Everyone likes a nice warm bed. If it's wintry, you get into a warm bed, and it's all lovely, isn't it? So there we go. We shall call you Warm Bed. Wonderful. Right, we need to get those troops raised now, because they're coming in to attack us. Here we go. Uh, that commander's gone back in. That's okay. You can be the commander. Oh, hang on. They've wandered off to a different bit. Hang on a minute. They've wandered up there. We'll loop round. Just a little trip down here to look at the woods. That's quite nice. I think, I think they've been wiped out by whoever that is over there. There are some enemy over there, though, so we'll go and get them, possibly. Um, it irks me that my rival, Farida, seems to enjoy the comforts of a blissful marriage with her husband, Abdullah. I could cause her a good deal of stress and worry by sowing suspicion between the two, making them doubt one another. I mean, he is in prison right now. Um... We would do that because we're vengeful and she's our rival. So yeah, I'll plant letters to Abdullah from a secret lover. I'd rather frame Farida instead. No, frame her. Frame her because we don't like her. So yeah, that's good. We'll frame her. Right, we've run in and taken a glorious victory. Let's go up here and fight their troops. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, crikey, it's all getting a bit silly. Oh, another one of these map things. Hang on a minute. Chuck them in the dungeon. Leave them to stew for a bit. It's okay. Right, chase after these folks. This is getting a bit silly. Blanket has given birth to a child. Okay, what are blankets, kids? Starlight. Uh, okay, okay, right, hang on a minute. I've got an idea. Genius and handsome. Okay, so we're not going to call you Mirza. We're going to call you Moonlight. So your brother is Starlight, you're Moonlight. And if you have any other siblings, we can call them, I know, Sunlight and whatever else. I know, Headlight. I'm not sure, but whatever the case. There we go. Moonlight will do for now. Thank you very much. Right, oh, oh God. <laughs> Ah, oh, dearie me, right? Hang on a second, Satara. We've got, oh no, soft, silky, smooth. Um, okay, what can we go for now? I don't know, soft, silky, smooth, and sleek. That works quite well. So we have soft, silky, smooth, and sleek. Wonderful. And you're okay, sleek. You've got some good traits going on. Okay, may you grow to be strong and wise. Can we please stop having this ridiculous children naming thing? Right, there we go. Spa day comes of age. You've got a four-star education trait. That is wonderful. One thing, actually, that we possibly could do with checking. How are we doing over here? So there is Geek. Ah, Geek has three children. Okay, but because they're, you know, he's managing himself, we can't do anything about this. We can't change their names or anything. So how are we looking? Oh, wow. Fecund, Genius and Beautiful. And then we've got Genius and Beautiful. Come on, come on. I have high hopes for Yakta here. Ah, she hasn't got the kind of the, the hail trait or whatever. Genius and Beautiful. Okay, right, this is fine. They're all quite young, though. You're, you're very new. Okay, so I think maybe it looks like you're the one who's possibly going to take over. So how about, yeah, we offer guardianship and we go and do that, please. So you're going to come stay at our court. So, okay, offer that. In the meantime, we're going to try and chase these guys down over here. Eventually, we're going to catch up with them and have a fight. Hooray! Right, there we go. And Geek is happy with that. That's very good. Um, I mean, yeah, do you want to get one of the other kids done? Meddled in marriage. Okay, my spies have informed me that Farida has determined the letter I planted to sow distrust between her and her husband. Abdullah was a fake and wasn't fooled by my trickery. I'll have to try something else. Nah, botherations. Okay. Meow. I looked down to see that my cat Mittens had dropped a scroll at my feet, sealed in my son Prince Necrob's distinct style. Giving into curiosity, I skimmed the text, keeping the secret ways on me. 
To think he was hiding such a thing. The world must know of this. Hang on. We've learned of Shola's child heritage secret. Uh, okay. Hang on. So, okay. To think he was hiding such a thing. We're not going to go and blab. Um, what was that? Hang on a minute. Hooks and secrets. So, Shola's son, Aglab, is Prince Necrov's illegitimate child out of wedlock. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, there's a thing then. Right, okay. Um, okay, we can't do much about it now. But right, there you go. That's another thing. And I think we just won that fight. So I don't think they have many troops left. Let's head over here and siege that sort of uh, that place. Oh, hang on, might as well start at the top. We'll start over here, work our way down, do lots of sieging. And eventually, yes, we'll get down here and then hopefully win that war. And that'd be good. Sirin died. Oh, no. We're more bothered about our friend dying than we are about our own wives. <laughs> we gain more stress from that. Um, okay, right, here we go. Do some sieging over there. Not even 40 days. 32 days or whatever it was. That is very good. Um, Sparde is about to leave court. Oh, Sparde, have we got to sort out a spouse for you as well? We'll be here all day doing this. You are quite good. You are quite good. But you're going to leave court. Okay. Is there any land we could give you? I don't think there is. We can just summon you back. That's fine. You go wandering, son of ours. We'll give you some land soon, actually. We'll go and grab some land at some point, And then, yeah, you can have that. That'll be okay. Right, now we can head down here, look. Take their capital. And I imagine that will be it. I think if we grab that, that's going to be it all sorted. We can sponsor an inspired person um, to make a spear. Do you know what? Why not? Got loads of money. Uh, yeah, hang on. Our guest. Recruit to court. Okay, yeah, do that. Bring them into court and then sponsor them. Competent at your craft. You can get better. You'll be fine. You'll learn. And we have an event to do with colourful talent. I find my grandson, Silky, sitting on the floor, surrounded by spilled paint and pieces of canvas for the third time this month. My courtiers whisper at him being an artistic genius in the making, but the servants complain about scrubbing the floors free of paint in the wake of his inspirations. This has to stop. Or his genius will be nurtured. Yeah, just carry on letting him do what he wants to do. Stop being so fussy about it. He's a child. It makes a mess. That's what happens. I know this to be the case. Right. So get down here. Complete this siege. 30 days. And I think we'll be done. Cupboard. Okay, cupboard. Would you like to join us in the ways of witchcraft? Um, yeah, absolutely. Wonderful. There we go. Another witch joins us. Who else can we convert? Um, we did chuckle. I mean, let's just start about tannin. Why don't we just get Tanine to do this? Hello, Tanine. Would you like to be a witch? I'm sure you would. It's very exciting. There's a lovely club with nice bonuses and benefits and a magazine, a weekly magazine. Right, okay. And boop, 100%. We have got a valuable hostage. So I think what we do is we let out our oh, crikeys. Oh, there are many prisoners. Okay, right, hang on. Let's go and clear the prison out first um, and get money from people. And then as soon as it's all empty... Yeah, we'll have whatever money you've got. Uh, we'll then end the we'll then end the war because yeah, otherwise if we end the war, all these people will go and we won't get money from them. So hang on, let's just go and sort the prison out. Oh my goodness me! Right, there's loads going on now. We need to go and have a chat with the spear making guy. My lord, the work on your precious artifact is proceeding well. My beneficiary Jahanda seems in a very good mood. I'm not making any promises, but if I manage to produce a true masterpiece, what idea would you like to guide my hand? Okay, so to cause more casualties to them, less to us to encourage my pharaohs to greatness, to better exploit the terrain, whatever. I think we just say whatever. So I'm well, not bothered. Make us a thing, please. Right, hang on. Yeah, all these people are clearing out the prison. Right, there's only a few left. Hang Oh, crikey. <laughs> Another thing's popped up. Sultan Samaro's had an affair with his lover. Yeah, we can't get grumpy about that because we've done the very same thing. Right, let's let these final two people out. And then, oh, we can't get any money for them. That's a bit of a bother, isn't it? Hang on. Getting a hook on you and gain a hook on you. Right, so do that. That's the prison all clear. That's all good. Yeah, cheerio. Bye-bye. We can end that war now anyway. So enforce those demands. Boop. You, you're still looking after your own lands. You now just report in to the lovely people. And look at that. That looks very good. Um, can we make this? The Duchy of Benin. Well, become the Emirate of Benin. Make that. And then who's got that bit just there? So, uh, yeah, Emir Musa. Oh, do you know what, Emir Musa? You can have... The Emirate of Benin. That can be yours to look after. There you go. Don't say we don't treat you. And then we've got... Ah, okay, hang on. That already exists. So we could, in theory, go and grab that bit of land. 
because that should be ours by rights, by de jure rights. That's kind of ours as part of that uh, part of that emirate there. Okay, okay, well, hang on then. So shrink all that out of the way. That's looking a bit better down there. Look at that. Got a little bit more land down here. So I think, yeah, what we'll do is we'll finish up for now because we have done quite a lot of stuff. It's been a bit sort of haphazard and all over the place, but we've done quite a lot of stuff. So we'll wrap things up for the moment. And then when we come back next time, we'll carry on our work down here because that's quite good. And we'll also carry on our work in making people witches. That could be quite exciting. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Did we... Did we finish converting this? We must have done by now. Ah, hang on. We have finished converting Jerusalem over to Ashari. So now, does that mean... Hang on, if we go to here, can we now do that? Ah, it becomes the Emirate of Palestine. Rainbow's got that. <gasps> okay. The Emirate of Palestine now exists. So the... Whatever it was, the Kingdom of Jerusalem is gone and we have the Emirate of Palestine. Okay, hang on. That's an Emirate. The Kingdom title. That's what we want. Um... That's a bit irritating, isn't it? So we can't we can't get that. But we don't want to create the kingdom of Jerusalem. We want to get our own thing in there. Ah, botherations. Okay, never mind. Part of the Arabian Empire. Um Joe, you know never mind, never mind. Can we can we claim any any empire titles? <laughs> I've not really thought about this before. Have we got enough land in there? No, we haven't. Nowhere near enough. Um, that's quite a big empire title to have, isn't it? That's quite big and that's quite big. Okay, Joe, you know never mind. It's all fine. It's all fine. Right, yes. I think we'll finish things up for now. Come back next time and we'll just carry on our work down here. Maybe try and grab a big load of land over there and maybe make a move on the Zirids and that place there and that place there. And just, you know, continue our sweep to the west over here in Africa. Possibly get a little bit of land over here move toward Baghdad possibly and we'll just keep spending the money and we'll keep doing witchcraft things and various other bits and bobs as well but yeah it's lovely to be honest that Teacup is still here 75 years old and his health is still fine not even ailing which is excellent so hopefully Teacup can be around for a good long time and we'll see what happens next time when we come back hopefully you are still enjoying this if you are please do leave a like that would be most marvelous indeed and also if you're not already then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in crusader kings 3 but for now thank you very much for joining me in the geek cupboard and i will see you next time for as we all know with cake comes spiritual enlightenment and also happiness that smell is totally not coming from any dark elder gods nope not even a little bit okay so a little picture of us on the wall just to remind everybody who's in charge around here oh and this person here is saying penge you're my friend tom you're my friend too nobody likes a soggy bottom